Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas here and in this video I'm going to talk about why you need an L bracket for your camera. But before we get started, I wanted to remind you to check out the Liam Photography Podcast. You can find it anywhere the podcasts are found. And I have a massive back catalog of 350 episodes that you can go back and listen to at your leisure. All right, so let's get into today's topic, why you need an L bracket. Now, this is my GFX 50R medium format mirrorless camera. Absolutely love this camera. But as you can see, the ergonomics aren't that great on this camera. It's only got a small uh, bump out for the hand grip so the ergonomics are not fantastic especially if you're somebody like me with large hands now the item I have today is actually a combination of an L bracket and a hand grip and that's one of the reasons why I bought it for the 50R is it would not only give me more of a hand grip for holding onto the camera but also the L bracket functionality as well. So basically what an L bracket is is to add on piece of hardware for your camera that allows you to use your camera in your tripod both horizontally and vertically which can make things extremely convenient so let me go ahead and put this one on here now the one i have here is made by small rig they make a lot of fantastic hand grips and l brackets as does really right stuff and i believe i'm not 100 percent certain but i think another popular company that makes them is three-legged thing uh, and some of the newer accessory companies on the market like newer are starting to make these as well and offer them and they range in price anywhere from $35, depending on your camera body, up to $150. It just depends. So as you can see here, by adding this onto my camera, I now have a much larger grip, better ergonomics on this side of the camera, which is extremely handy. And then I have the L bracket going across the bottom and up the left-hand side. Now, L brackets are made with the Arca Swiss groove system built into them so that you can use them with your Arca Swiss tripod heads. Now, one of the first things that an L bracket can be handy for is panorama accuracy. So if you're somebody that likes to shoot panoramas, and of course you're shooting vertically like this, with the L bracket makes it extremely convenient. You can put your camera in your tripod head like so, lock it down. And then the nice thing about this is when you're doing your panos, you know everything's going to be nice and plat, uh, straight and good to go. Um, you're not going to have any shifting in the camera. And then you can just do your loosen up your ball heads uh, swivel portion and you can do your panning for your panorama. So that's one of the ways that they come in really handy. The other way that the vertical part of the L bracket comes in handy as if you're shooting studio portraits can make it extremely handy. I know a lot of photographers that shoot portraits in their studio like to have an L bracket on their camera so they can easily mount it that way, you know, vertically on their tripod and know that they've got a good, stable, sturdy, secure setup and that they can shoot their vertical portraits, you know, till their heart's content, basically. And then, of course, on the bottom side, if you want to mount a horizontal, if you're doing landscapes or something like that, quick and easy to do that as well. And there we go. We've got it all set up in order to do uh, our horizontal landscape photography or anything like that. And, of course, the reason why these are so convenient is you can easily go from horizontal just loosen up the clamp, flip the tripe or the L bracket on your camera body, loose, uh, tighten the clamp back down, bam, quick and easy to switch from horizontal to landscape. Now, some photographers will use their L bracket and they'll keep their camera and the horizontal orientation like they're doing landscapes. And then if they want to actually do uh, panoramas or something like that or vertical portraits then they will just loosen up the ball head and flip the camera like so and you can actually just use the bottom plate for both horizontal and vertical shooting so it can make things extremely convenient for you the photographer you know for whatever style of shooting you like to do whether it's landscapes and horizontal or portraits in the vertical setup uh, now these are generally made out of machined aluminum as mine is here and it's painted a nice black so that it matches you know most camera bodies are black in color there are a few exceptions to the rules of course um, but they generally are 
they generally most camera bodies are black so that's why they paint most of these plates black there are some companies uh, that do orange ones and, and white ones and stuff like that uh, just for a little bit of variety I guess you could say now Another thing that is handy about the L brackets is in addition to having your L bracket for holding the camera in your tripod head, the L bracket also makes it easy to set your camera down and have it nice and stable. The problem with some of your tripod plates are is they tend to be very small. And I'll give you an example. Let me grab mine here. The one that actually comes with this ball head. And you can see it's a fairly small tripod plate. Um, so if I were to put that on the bottom of my camera, it goes in the dead center and then, you know, I set the camera down and it can wobble this way or it might fall forward. With an L bracket, you've got a full width base plate, which is extremely convenient and your camera is not going to fall forward unless you have like a ridiculously heavy lens on it or something like that. Now. A couple of the cons of having an L bracket or a hand grip or in my case a combination on the 50R is uh, the first con is the cost so you are going to have you know the cost of course of initially buying one of these now your better ones they make two different styles they make a universal and then they make custom ones for your camera body I don't recommend the universal ones and one of the reasons for that is if you put a universal one on your camera body and then you have to get to your battery which on a lot of cameras the batteries on the bottom you're not going to be able to get to it you're going to have to take the plate back off where the nice thing about this custom made one for the 50R from uh, small rig is even when it's on I can get to my battery door and easily take my battery out so it doesn't cause any interference there and additionally since it doesn't do anything on the right hand side of the camera I can still easily get to my uh, memory card door and get to my memory card so that's the other thing that's convenient and I can also get to this port on the bottom which is where I can directly plug power into my camera and so on and so forth so the custom made ones make it convenient because you can still get to all the accessory doors on your camera body uh, now one of the other cons of having an L bracket or a hand grip on your camera is the extra weight now they're not incredibly heavy because they are made from machined aluminum but they will add a few extra grams to the overall weight of your camera so if you're somebody that prefers to have as small and light a setup as possible then an L bracket might not be for you but for me personally I just think they're a great thing to have on your camera mine stay on my camera body all the time they don't interfere with me shooting handheld at all so I just leave them on the body just because it's much more convenient for me and like I said with this one I have the the bigger bump out with this wooden grip that gives me better ergonomics for holding this big camera um, now they do come most of them will come if you get the ones with the optional hand grip component they're usually black rubber but as you can see here it is possible to get them from some manufacturers with a custom wood look to them so that the hand grip is actually wood instead of the black rubberized plastic um, and I did that with this just to make the camera look a little prettier that's all um, but those are some of the the pros and the cons of having an L bracket on your camera again panorama accuracy better strength and stability when you're shooting in vertical especially for portraits or panoramas extremely handy for that the quick switch between horizontal and vertical orientation is the other big convenience factor and then of course again the cons are the weight and the cost now because most all of these are made with the Arca Swiss grooves in them for Arca Swiss tripod heads if you currently have a proprietary tripod head like from Manfrotto with their PL200 connectors uh, base plates, then you're going to have to also pay to get an Arca Swiss tripod ball head, uh, which again is going to increase your cost if you didn't go with Arca Swiss to begin with. But I think a lot of people do. Arca Swiss is extremely popular because of the fact that it is totally universal. All right, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. Don't forget to get your entry in for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway where you can enter for your chance to win a Viltrox AF 75mm f1.2 Pro lens for the Fujifilm X mount which is valued at $550. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.